Hello everybody. So this week I thought I'd share some of the things that I have been working on. I have been in a couple of quilt alongs, but to break it all up, I decided that I'm going to take a couple of goose dresses to my daughters when I visit over Easter or spring break. So this is the Glamour Goose pattern. And I really like all of these ideas. But what's super cool with this pattern is you can get mix and match sleeves, collars, aprons, or you can make it into um, less frilly and maybe more into, they have it as like gardening stuff, weightlifting. The, the beauty of this is they give you how... The idea on how to do posable wings. Now, if she wants to do that, she can. But I thought, I haven't made garment making in a long time. And you can sew the little wings right inside. But I decided to put them on elastic. And you can see that I have oh, elastic in here. And I have the wings in the sleeves. So this is the more fancy first dress that I made, all cotton. It's got a little collar and gathered chapel sleeves. And I want to sew probably a couple of buttons on the bodice. Here is the back. And I hemmed it. So this one is my favorite. The second one I thought would be super cool till I started sewing it. And I realized it was rayon and not cotton. Let me get that dress for you. And neither did the collar, but it's for a lawn goose. Now, wouldn't it be fun to put like a little pin on the collar? If, if she puts the goose outside, then it'll be... You know, I'm putting plastic buttons just in case. I did straight sleeves on this so that, you know, you want a little bit different. And I didn't hem this because, the, you know, the pattern says it's for a goose that's between 23 and 26 inches. Hers is right around 24. So here is the cotton candy or tie-dye inspired goose dress. So I am going to take the pattern with me to see if she wants to learn how to sew. She wants to try to sew her own goose dress. And I found this beautiful fabric. Wouldn't that be a great September, October feel? Not Halloween, but fall feel. And I'm going to go through some of my other novelty type prints. She definitely wants to make a witch goose with the pointy hat. So anyway, Glamour Goose, it is something you can see her patterns on YouTube, but you can also buy this is on an Etsy shop. And it's original design of Joy C B, J-O-Y-C-E-E-B-E-E -E 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 Workshop. And you can see her name there. Love all these. So I'm definitely going to do the Mother Goose lace pinafore with the darling little hat like that one isn't she cute I, I may make yarn but definitely got to have a mother goose so that was my adventure in non-quilting sewing now i am not a garment sewing sewer seamstress whatever you want to say sewist there's the word but, you know, every once in a while, tried, it's fun to try a craft, but not garment making, because I've tried that before, and it's difficult. You can see the last row here. Um, these are the last three that I've done in the Socialites 2. It's a weekly sew along, and we have 20 blocks. You can't see all 20, but I've really been struggling trying to figure out how I want to set them, and I'm going to do a another video on that in the future, but I'm just kind of going through all the different settings. I will say, if you are doing socialites, join the Socialites Lounge on the Facebook group. There's a lot of great people who have 
wonderful ideas for setting these in a final layout, as well as all 25 designers, because 24 designers, 25, I don't know, 24, 25. Each block is by a different designer. Each block is different in the techniques. And what I like about this is I have long COVID. I had completely basically forgot how to do and how to process patterns and do a lot of sewing and quilting. And look at what happened over the last few months. I've been doing a lot of rehabilitation exercises um, and working out and memory things. And this was part of my rehab. Each block has different skills. I can watch Fat Quarter Shop every Friday, does a video how to, and you can learn from ground zero if you wanted to on one of Kimberly Jolly's um, quilt along. So I would say this has been perfect. I've also been playing with color and putting fabrics together, which I've never been confident in. <laughs> and so I got confident enough to join in mid-January the So Scrappy Spools. Now this is a PDF pattern by Lori Holt and it's printed by Fat Quarter Shops. It's So Emma. You can buy this on the website and it's an instant download. You can see the entire quilt here. I want to say it's it's a almost twin size. I don't have the dimensions on here. But each one of these sampler blocks is five inches, but the overall size of the spool is eight and a half. And um, we are only on the third month. So I thought, you know, there were only three blocks to sew this month, and it was a flag pattern. And let me find the flag so you can see what I did. And then I'm going to show you the different, um, different way these blocks look with the different fabrics that I chose to make it into a spool. So this is the March block. We needed three of the flags. And I, these went together really well. They're five and a half inch squares. I originally thought I was going to use this fabric for the spool. Oh, it was too light. So I dug through my stash and found this beautiful mid-tone, kind of a nutty golden brown. And I started putting the blocks together in their spool configuration. Now, I don't, I have all of them have to the two sides and the bottom, but only four of them are completed. And here's the little cabin. I love this. It was so simple. It's very clever. Lori Holt did a great job in designing this because you don't have to match up the spool joining with this. I've seen spools done like that and it's a nightmare because it just is. This is a simple, simple, old-fashioned looking spool that you would have thread on, and this is supposed to represent the thread colors. And I am busting my stash by you doing samplers this year, all different kinds of quilts that are going to use scraps. So, Scrappy Spools by Lori Holt. So here is a really cute So here is one of the first blocks that I made for this spool sampler. Simple four patch by great use of your stash. And this is one of my favorite blocks so far. I thought this one turned out great. So that's what I've been working on and I hope to keep going on this um, this journey of quilting. I kind of, you know, wasn't able to do it for a while, and now I'm really excited. 
<clears throat> I have another Lori Holt book, and I have been given a couple of other books uh, for patterns, and um, they have some great ideas, and they're going to be sew-alongs, I think, with Fat Quarter Shop in the near future. So I'm just going to keep on keeping on with the stash busting progr progress. So once again, So Scrappy Spools is the current sew along that I'm doing, as well as Socialites 2. This one is free on Fat Quarter Shop's website. This one is a purchase pattern, a PDF download. I have an affiliate link I'll put in the description below. If you um, choose to buy anything from Fat Quarter Shop and use my link, that would help me and it doesn't cost you any money. So I want to say thank you for listening. Thank you for joining me and following me along in the journey of learning how to sew again, <laughs> learning how to quilt and take patterns and make them in a way that I find simple because that's what Kimberly Jolly does. And also to see the funny, silly goose dresses that I made. Um, lots of fun. Have a great week and I hope that you have time to quilt on, everyone. <laughs>